What if there was a way to combine some of your favorite games into one perfect game? For example, let's take the collectathon aspects from Super Mario 64 and combine it with the roguelike aspects of Risk of Rain 2. And then for fun, let's sprinkle some Minecraft advancements on top. Okay, so we can't exactly do that, but with the help of the Archipelago randomizer tool, we can kind of get close. Archipelago is a multi-game randomizer that takes the items from every game, throws them all into a big pot, stirs them up, and disperses them randomly back into all the games. For example, a star in Mario 64 could give us a random item in Risk of Rain, or unlocking an advancement in Minecraft could give us a 1-up mushroom from Mario. The objectives that unlock these items are called checks, and each game has different checks. In Mario 64, every power star, 1-up box, cannon unlocks, and the various power caps are checks. In Risk of Rain, every item drop has a chance to be a check, and in Minecraft, every advancement, excluding some of the insanely difficult ones such as the infamous How Did We Get Here. Minecraft also has the added challenge of most crafting recipes being locked within the item pool. To put the difficulty of this challenge into perspective, I'd attempted this run the day prior, but failed to finish even a single game in 8 hours. So today we're back for revenge. Starting off the run in Minecraft, things were going pretty strong, picking up a ton of early game checks and having some good luck. I could also be fighting skeletons, but skeletons are just so much scarier when I don't have a shield and I can't make a shield until I find the rest. Wait, 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 wait. What are the odds? Two bones, come on. This would be huge. It's not gonna happen, but. Oh my God, it happened. All right, we have a friend and some not so good luck with the piglins is so nice. Can you not mine gold blocks with a gold pickaxe? What it obviously I can't because it didn't drop. You can mine them. You just don't get it. And eventually we ran out of easy check. So it was time to swap over to Mario 64. In Mario 64, we are currently limited to the main lobby along with Big Boo's Haunt, so there are quite a few checks we can do. However, without any of the cap and locks, we are blocked on checks such as the Floating Island in Bomb on Battlefield or the Bubble Star in Jolly Roger Bay. Even with these limits, we quickly found two very useful checks for our Minecraft adventure. No question. Structure. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. Swapping back over just yet, I want to see... Wait, so Bastion Remnants is in Overworld. That's big for when we swap back to Minecraft. All right, second star. Give us some more good checks. Nether for what is going on? These checks are insane. Nether Fortress is in the Nether. Okay, that's fine. That's the first two stars in Mario already gave us like late game Minecraft checks. That's insane actually wild after many boring checks after this and screwing up some basic speedrun strats we finally make our way to big boo's haunt where we finally find the next useful check after slaying the boo atop the manor extra power star for my struggles i got metal cap oh that's so big that is so big that opens up some more checks very quickly after we hear an interesting sound over in minecraft a wandering trader in minecraft how about kill it and go say less hold on i gotta check his trades though now usually these guys are completely useless to a minecraft world but since many crafting recipes such as the bucket are locked behind checks the bucket of fish would be a massive pickup so we'll have to keep him around for now as much as i want to kill him we need him because i don't have crafting recipe for bucket and a bucket of tropical fish is huge we will kill him as soon as we get the bucket, okay? I promise. We will kill him as soon as I get the bucket, but we need that bucket. So he will die as soon as we get that bucket, but we need one more emerald. So we're back to Mario 64. Because of this, my entire game plan had shifted. Originally, I planned to hold off on Risk of Rain for as long as possible to get a bunch of items in the game and just breeze right through it. However, being at a wall in Mario and not wanting to leave this trader behind in Minecraft it was time to boot up Risk of Rain. All right, might as well restart, honestly. Well, we're done with Mario for now. Um, let me check Minecraft. I can go to Bastion Remnant in Minecraft. Huh? 
But I want to get the emeralds for the bucket. The bucket just feels so overpowered right now. So we're going to hold off on Minecraft. We're actually going to start up Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain very quickly gave us some great items. No, this is um, the first on this run. We want to attack speed. Oh, cool. Wait, progressive key. That's big. We just unlocked basement for SM64. I got progressive armor. Wait, so I have iron armor now. I can get an advancement in Minecraft off of that. Chat, take notes because I will forget. More chests here. Proceeds to take notes. Where was the boss? Aaron, you took notes. Where did I say the teleporter was? Pretty sure it's on the other side of this. <laughs> what dry world? Well, shoot. Now we're stuck in risk of rain forever. And after just the first level, we got two important checks. One for Minecraft and one for Mario. So we quickly swapped back over to Mario to complete the basement checks. In the basement, there really weren't a whole lot of good items. Mostly just power stars and risk of rain items. We cleared basically all of the stars we could, minus a few that required the lock caps. And yes, I know some of them you can technically get, but I'm bad at the game, okay? When all was said and done, the only useful item that we got was the fishing rod crafting recipe in Minecraft, which unlocked maybe one or two more checks at most. Still searching for more emeralds so I can afford the bucket, we swap back over to Risk of Rain to grind out a few more levels. The first level didn't offer us much, but eventually we were able to find the second floor key, a big unlock for Mario. I got a progressive key. Alright, so we have the next key for SM64 too. I decided to hold off on Mario for a bit longer, however, and wanted to do one more level in Risk of Rain, and this ended up being a great decision. Alright, give me energy drink. Oh wait, that I think that's iron tools in Minecraft, so we can mine the diamonds, and that's another advancement. Like, after this level, I might swap over to Minecraft. We got bucket! We got bucket! Minecraft! I made a promise. Hold on. I don't have... He's dead! <laughs> yeah. To say I was excited would definitely be a bit of an understatement. And I did feel a little bad about killing the traitor, but a deal's a deal. And I don't lie to my chat. the traitors. Anyways, with the bucket in hand, there was a ton of Minecraft, so after finishing up the level in Risk of Rain and finding a few Ender Pearls, those will be useful later, it's time to get started on Minecraft. I need stone for a stone pickaxe. I also think- if I can make a furnace, actually, I can use those diamonds. I can make a furnace. Alright, there's another one. We got 1000 XP for Risk of Rain. Diamond. We got Power Star for SM64. Wait, I just did nine hearts of damage in a single hit. All right, I got more pork chops, cool. But for now, let's go try and get Bastion goals. Bastion, cool, that was really close actually. Okay, power star, and then if I open a chest, there's another one and a lot of gold. So I can get, ooh, shiny. Actually, I need to do this so I get that. There we go, now I get the ring back on. I can do this. I'm just gonna trade with this dude real quick. See. There we go. Six ender pearls. I'm gonna go check this ruin portal real quick and then we're gonna come right back and I'm gonna do make village, village, village. Actually it's big. Even bigger. I got eight netherite scra okay, I need that might be useful. Quick. Nice. So, this level we need to get advancement here. What? Progressive weapons? Okay. Nether fortress is up this way. Hopefully it's not too far. I am knowing my luck. Yes, let's go. It's right there. Also, glitchy lava. Love that. That's another power star. 
I don't really want to go down. I also don't really want to fight Wither Skeleton. But... No shot. That's a fur. I got I got the shield crafting recipe. It was locked behind Spooky Scary Skeleton, and I got a. F what are the odds? What's the odds of a Wither Skeleton skull? That was first drop. That's wild. That's absolutely wild that I just got first drop. What am I dropping? Get rid of the leather. Into fire. Got another power star. I was holding shield up game. He dropped a wither skull too. I'm going to end my life, bro. Yeah, this is so bad for the lava. Okay, cool. Another wither skull? Maybe? I don't know if the odds are increased or if I've just gotten insanely lucky. If one drops from... Okay, the odds are definitely increased. Glowstone, glowstone. Oh, it's so good I didn't die. <laughs> I need this for respawn anchor. This is actually just a free check. By the end of all the checks, we had gotten pretty darn close to beating Minecraft as there were only a few things we still needed. Most importantly, we needed the crafting recipe for blaze powder because without this, we just can't beat the game. I also was still in need of quite a few pearls and preferably some better tools and gear. So for now, it was time to swap off of Minecraft. I decided to swap back to Risk of Rain, because at this point, I was fairly confident I could just finish the run on that game and unlock the rest of its checks. And after farming a bunch of checks in the lava cave area, decided that it was time to rush through the remainder of the game and just beat it. So I rushed the remainder of the level, but before I could get to the teleporter, it was greeted with one great surprise. Brewing! Oh, that's so big. That's blaze powder. Brewing is blaze powder. I don't know if that means Eyes of Ender. And with that check, we now had everything we needed to beat Minecraft. However, I figured it would just be easier to finish up Risk of Rain. Might be worth just rushing to the end here and beating. After a close call at the end of that level, there's six more checks. Mostly because I totally forgot how the game worked, that you could take damage after the teleporter was used. Thanks to the help of an extra life, we moved on to the space stage, the final stage before the moon boss. And, uh, well, mm, let's just say maybe I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. Everything hurts, bro. I can't tell what's going on anymore. I'm sure the stream is so fun to watch here. If I can't even tell what's going on. Okay, I died, that's what's going on. I'm dead, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, so I kinda ended up dying, which certainly isn't the end of the world. It just means we have to start Risk of Rain from the beginning. But we do get to keep any of the items that we got through the randomizer, just not the ones we got from Risk of Rain itself. After this loss, I kind of needed a break from Risk of Rain, so I swapped back over to Mario 64. Since we still had quite a few upstairs checks, there was a decent chance that I could find the checks we wanted for Minecraft. Alright, let's see. Because I hardly ever do any upstairs worlds, so let's see how well I remember how to do this. Okay. Let's not choose what dry world because I don't remember a nearly enough about it. Is that all of them? Is it just the five? Yep, okay, cool. Realistically, from this, we are hoping to get. In city. Probably in the end. It could be in the nether, but we don't really need in city right now. What? That's garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. I remember why I hate this level now. 
I remember why I hate this level because of the crap like that. It's so bad. There was no way. I don't have vanish cap, so I don't know what I'm doing in here. What is attack? I, I'd love the camera in this game, bro. Yeah, don't have vanish cap. My computer's big upset. Um, let's just go beat Minecraft at this point, honestly. After just a few checks on the floor, I quickly realized that I hadn't played most of these stages in a fairly long time and decided it would probably just be a lot more beneficial to just beat Minecraft to try and unlock the remainder of its checks. So with the handful of pearls that I did have, I crafted up the eyes of Ender and started the journey. Wait, so let me... It's still further, okay. Bro, these eye drops are saving my life right now. After locating the approximate location of the surface, I really struggled to find the stronghold. Let's get to mining, I guess. Oh, bro. Oh, I'm out of ideas. So just digging down is my saving grace right now. I literally dug down right next to this, so it's not gonna be here. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I genuinely did not realize that I could spawn down under the deep slate layer. So after digging for like legitimately 30 minutes, I might have cheated a little bit, but just to make sure that the server wasn't somehow glitched. Oh, it is not here. I am, I don't want to cheat, but I, how have I, it is down in deep slate. Since when can it spawn in deep slate? I've never seen them spawn in deep slate. Yeah, I know. Here come the comments about me being a fat shit. Shut, shut up. Shut up. I was five hours into the run at this point, and my brain may have been a little far gone, so I don't want to hear it. Anyways, after quickly finding the portal in the stronghold and... 11? Yeah. So, we've got a lot of work to do. So, after checking a few things in Minecraft, these... Decent spawn. This is so bad. And realizing that finding ender pearls was a delusion for now, it's time to swap back to Mario. And at this point, we're really close to beating it. So after struggling a bit more on the second floor, thank God, okay. I'm going to, oh my, no, 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 Mario! I opted to go upstairs and test my luck there, as well as jumping back and forth before finally getting the final star. Okay, this is a check. This could be the... Yes, it's the last star. And with that, we quickly entered the final Bowser level. And after three quick throws, yeah, that definitely not more than that, because I'm great at this game. And just under six and a half hours into the run, we finally beat the first game. Oh my god, we beat. <sighs> now that we completed Mario, we can release the remaining checks to the other games. And after fiddling with Archipelago and totally not forgetting the command for it, we got a ton of new items in Minecraft. Release SM64. There we go. Okay, so I just got a crap ton of items. So we're going to swap over to Minecraft um, because we just won. Uh, Oh, and there's Ender Pearls. Oh, this is so big. However, really only got one good reward, which was three more Ender Pearls. So with only a couple checks left in Risk of Rain, it seems that we have to get the Ender Pearls another way. So after attempting a couple more advancements, bookshelf, got a power start, doesn't help. Yes! Okay, that's just XP for Risk of Rain. So it can't hurt anything. Maybe it gives me a bunch of Ender Pearls, who knows? Oh my god, it gave me <laughs> Ender Pearls. Wait, that's big. I still need three more, I think. Hoping to luck my way out of this, I resorted to the old Bastion method and went to find another Bastion remnant. It really didn't take too long, but you know what did? Getting the damn pearls. Yeah, so as you can see, I am most certainly not dream with this piglin drop rate. It took so freaking long to get these dang pearls, but once we finally did, Minecraft was all but over.
You know what's kind of wacky? That I haven't gotten a nerd. Okay, thank God. All right. After a quick death and a bit of preparation, we hopped into the end and pretty quickly managed to finish off the dragon and beat Minecraft at about the seven and a half hour mark, letting us unlock the rest of its checks. Two games down, one to go. All right, now we just have to complete a risk of rain run. Now at this point, we'd been streaming for a while and just for reference, my streams usually average about four to five hours at the maximum. So at this point, I was rather eager to end the stream and go play something else with some friends and get something to eat. That being said, I was fairly confident I could beat this in under eight hours. So I decided to rush to the end. This seemed like a reasonable goal since my record of this game was about 40 minutes from the start. And in this run, as you can see, we already had a bunch of decent items, so that seemed very plausible. We quickly made it through the first couple stages without much of an issue, picking up as many extra items as we could on the way. By the fourth and fifth stages, I started noticing a problem. We were struggling more and more to kill not only bosses, but even just elite enemies. And by the end of stage six, I wasn't able to finish off the run and ultimately failed. All right. Well, I beat two games. I'm not gonna, not gonna push this any further. I didn't realize it at the time, but one of the random items that we were given at the beginning of the run was the Light Flux Pauldron, an item that cuts our cooldowns in half, but at the cost of half of our attack speed. This is usually a really good item, but you have to build around it properly, and me not realizing I had it really didn't help. Now, this really wasn't noticeable in the early stages because we were killing most enemies in one to two shots. However, in the last few stages, the increased health combined with enemies regenerating, I just couldn't output enough damage to kill anything. Now, obviously I didn't want the run to end here, but it was so late and I was so exhausted, I ended up calling it quits and ended stream. I know, I know. Not the ending you were hoping for, and I'll be honest, I wasn't either. I really wanted to beat this, but unfortunately, I had nothing left in the tank. I will return to this run, however, and have no plans on stopping until I beat it. And that being said, even though we didn't finish this run, unfortunately, at the time of this video being posted, I am currently doing another run over on my Twitch channel, so be sure to come hang out and cheer me on. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. See you guys.